Now that is a big coach. Oh boy. He almost got clipped by a truck. So good thing I was in front of that truck and I stopped to get him. So first Sand Hill snake of the day. Well, good evening, everyone. This is the beginning of the vlog, uh, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not, depending if I find anything. We're at a new area. Um, I'm gonna survey this area for potential rainbow snakes, maybe. But anything else, like amphibians or whatever, I might show. Um, it all depends on if I find anything. If not, then I'll just, I guess, delete this this clip, so. Um, I'll let you know if we find anything and I'll show you uh, hopefully we do because that would be cool as I want to say a bad word but I'm not um, I guess really cool if we can find a rainbow um, but right now we're just going to survey this area for potential and hopefully it turns out well I'm pretty sure we're going to do multiple surveys in this area to see if uh, we can find a rainbow. If not, I guess we go back to the drawing board and see if we can find one. Um, other than that, there's other potential of uh, lifers here, so I'll let you know if we find anything. Well, decided to dip net a little bit already. There's a little disgusting little, I guess temporary pond and I got some tadpoles. So I'm gonna keep on dip netting until Daniel gets here and see what else we can find. Well, first frog, a uh, green frog, so uh, I'm gonna keep on looking to see if we can find anything else. I'll let you know. So one of the targets that we're hoping for today is a river frog. One of the last lithobates or rana uh, species to find in Florida. Now we only have two left, uh, the carpenter frog, carpenter frog and the flora bog. One of the ways to tell is one of those dots in the lower uh, jaw, but sometimes bullfrogs can have that. One of the ways is the underlying near the groin. You see that that's one of the best ways to identify it. Um, they also have wrinkly skin with bumpy as well. And, um, but mostly their parents are similar to the bullfrog. So it's, it can, the best way to and identify it is to capture it and, uh, just kind of look around it. And they're, they're very difficult in my opinion. Um, they can be like really dark color or going to be like this dark olive green, just like this. Or some of them can be like a lead gray. Yep. So right now I'm going to put them under this and we're going to take turns taking photos of this guy. We're kind of nowhere in water so he won't get away but and then after we're done we'll get photos well i mean after we're done with photos we'll let him go yeah that's what we meant and we're uh we will let uh we do a uh a let go video afterwards so Woo! all right time to let this river frog go so he's right over here I'm gonna freak out if you see a rainbow. It's right over here. There 
he goes. Little Wars. <laughs> All right, Little Wars snake. Chew and chew and chew. I don't know, I like this guy. Yeah, four water snake, Neuria, Fascia, Pintavitris. We just got a nuke guy away from us. Yeah. Because the wasn't fast enough. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. You want to that out? Yes. All right, well, I'm going to let this guy go. That hurt. Another life for me, a central nuke. Now I found both subspecies of eastern newts in Florida. Now the only newt I have left in Florida is the striped newt. Really cool. Well, I'm gonna take a photo of these guys and then this guy and then let them go. Time for the least video. Little Boom. Look at that. All right, guy, good luck. There's some water snakes out here. So I'm not herping right now, but we got a nice corn snake at work. One of the most common snakes I see at work, so. But, you know, I'll take a corn snake any day. So corn snake, Pantherovis catatus. Really cool snake, loving to death. Really pretty, pretty red. Nice looking guy. All the way in his palms. Cool. So it's been a little bit since you see me. Uh, yeah, I know. I have short hair now. But I am going to another county to look for striped uh, crayfish. And see how it goes um i am running a little late because i had to get new tires um so hopefully i can get there in good time i just need to go grab my headlamp and my uh camera and then tomorrow i'm gonna go road cruising sand hills so i will see you then oh and i did make another, another intro once about going out and I didn't see anything besides a dead four water snake. So hopefully I have better luck this tonight. Yeah, we'll see. All right, first snake of the night, a four water snake. Finally something, aggressive one. I'm gonna put this guy out off the road. Here you go. See if we can find another more snakes. Search start picking up now. Thank God. Southern Toad. It's starting to rain, so all the amphibians are coming out. So usually it's just been southern uh, toads, but I have seen a couple of ranas or leopard bays. So we'll see what else is out. So far, not much. Not much of snakes. Uh, there's a dead. That's dead toad right there. Alright, let's go. Oh, look at that. <sighs> no four water snake. Thought my night was gonna end. Anyway, I'll hope he crossed the road. Just, no? Wow, Jesus. Alright, later. Don't get back on the road. Hey. Go that way. Thank you. Sometimes snakes can be. <sighs> Sometimes they. I don't know. But anyway. Look what we got here. A little squirrel tree frog. What? Oh no, it's a pine woods. My bad. 
Uh, here you go. Boop, boop. All right. Let's keep on going. All right. I'm at the sand hills that I'm going to road cruise. See if I can get a pine or any hitter on. Um, Um, so I'll let you know when I find something. Uh, it is a little cool this morning, so I might go to a spot to flip. That's nothing. Uh, and I'll see when I find something. First herp is a gopher taurus. You can't really see him. I can though. Darn it, I'm just gonna show you guys. Oh well, keep on trying. Here's a gopher tortoise out and about. It's kind of cool. You know, in the right habitat, they're fairly common, uh, even though they're threatened uh, due to um, habitat destruction. And matter of fact, during the Great Depression, um, people that didn't have any money hunted gopher tortoises for soup uh, easy meal because they're so slow so another threat rattlesnake roundups they pour um, gasoline in order to get all the rattlesnakes for the eastern diamond rattlesnakes for uh, rattlesnake roundups and that that brings down their health the gopher tortoises because you know they they create this these burrows for like 350 plus species. This include insects that are cannot cannot be found anywhere besides gopher tortoises. Um, uh, different types of species. Oh, look, it's easy. Uh, different types of you know species of reptiles like indigos, eastern diamondbacks, pine snakes even will use them. Um, uh, birds such as burring owls, um, like small mammals like the floor scrub, scrub mouse, you know, and, and it's important to protect these burrows. Right, well, I'm gonna keep on going. Look what we got here a rough green. Woo! Look at that guy. Oh, yeah, rough green. What I'm talking about. Oh, rough green. This is like the only few snakes, the only species in Florida that's a complete insectivore. You can see them at night if you shine the trees and stuff like that. You see that yellow and bright green. But once they get into that trees during the day, it, it's literally no. I'm surprised they're not doing this wave thing. One of the things that they do is wave their head back and forth and they're trying to mimic the. Uh, the, uh, yep, see like that? He's trying to mimic the wind. See, so he seems like a piece of grass, but I took a photo of this guy um, once I turn off my car. But yeah, cool. All right, I got my photo section, so I'm gonna help this guy cross the road. Hey, hey. All right, here we go. Rough green snake, first of the year. It's going this way. All right, bud. Stay off the road, okay? All right, well, I didn't get skunked today. I mean, the rough green uh, definitely set up the bars. And then and I did see a racer. I had no chance of getting it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish road cruising this road all the way down, go get gas, and then just go to a national forest on my way home. Spent there maybe a couple hours see what I can find there. If not, this be it. So, I'll see you next time. Four caught mouth out of my car. Well, I guess I might take a picture of this guy. Uh, you can't hear me, that's my car, so. Yeah.
Wow, double score. Thamnophis and a monstrous glossy crayfish snake. Oh my god. <laughs> this is cool. Uh, yeah, good night so far. Uh, I'm going to take a picture of this uh, glossy crayfish. This guy's huge, but I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, garter snake to be released quickly. So this guy is huge, man. Look at this. All right. Dude, I, I didn't think I would score this much in Nassau. I just road cruised on a fresh. He's well alive. And he tried to get away from me. A rough earth, dude. Holy. Now I can finally get some updated photos. Some class A photos of a Stratula. I mean, Haldea. Holy shit, this guy's huge.